Hello, and how are you? It's Jonathan here at Hi-Fi Jones Studio and Gallery. The year was 1989, and I was a young, impressionable freshman at Emerson College in Boston, Massachusetts, when I came across a character, kind of a, kind of a dark emo, before the term emo was even around, <laughs> Kind of a weirdo, frankly. This guy's name was Chris, and he was the roommate of a friend of mine. And though Chris and I never became friends, he would be instrumental in my life. And of course, because I'm still referencing him here like 30 years later, uh, you can tell that he made some kind of an impression on me. And that impression largely was the result of him turning me on to the Velvet underground. All I knew at this time was probably Lou Reed, take a walk on the wild side. That's it. I didn't have an older sibling teaching me the ways of dark and strange music. I had my older sister who taught me the ways of Duran Duran and, and Thompson Twins. That's just the way it was. But Creepy Chris was somebody that had, uh, at the very least, the Velvet Underground's Andy Warhol produced banana album, for lack of a better word. It's the one with the banana on it. And at the time that I heard this, even though I wasn't and I'm still not really into dark music all that often, this music was so magnetic and strange, it could not be ignored. I thought, what the f is this? And I found myself uh, pulled into the world of the Velvet Underground. Then later, perhaps that year, or maybe later, I discovered their album Loaded, which is just as much, if not more of a masterpiece than the uh, Andy Warhol record. I bring up the Velvet Underground because if you are watching Ted Lasso, you have Apple TV. And if you have Apple TV, you have access to a wonderful documentary directed by Todd Haynes about the Velvet Underground. Check it out. It's uh, a very well done documentary in that it's not the cookie cutter talking head kind of thing where they're just showing people in the band and people who are influenced by the band. Todd Haynes brings you into that world of mid 60s New York, Andy Warhol, the factory, the avant-garde filmmaking, the strange and gritty landscape of New York, and its, uh, its ability at that time to bring together artists and outsiders. Um, and the Velvet Underground, John Cale, Lou Reed, Maureen Tucker, and Sterling Morrison, they were all a part of this artistic stew. And this documentary really puts you right in the center of that. Highly recommended. What are some of your favorite music documentaries and what is your take, if you have one, on The Velvet Underground? I would love to hear from you. Hope you're doing well. See you next time.